at the start of the search process, I hate to say this, but I engaged in a little AD talk. Uh, when I said that we wanted to aim high and that we wanted to find the right fit uh, for to meet our objectives in the athletic department, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to also continue that kind of generic AD talk and say that we shot the moon <laughs> with this particular hire. Uh, and we feel is adding a great piece to our the puzzle of what is used to be athletics. And with that, it's going to come in the form of our new men's basketball coach, Coach Rod Barnes. I want to thank God first uh, for giving me this opportunity, uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as uh, we spoke a few minutes ago, and, and uh, I came in, and I want you all to know, uh, Jeff asked me about recruiting. Uh, you guys uh, observe my wife, and you'll see uh, that, that I've done a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the way over my head is people would like to say. Uh, I'm so grateful to Dr. Mitchell. Uh, one of the reasons uh, that I'm here today is because uh, when I had a visit on campus, he spent so much time and talked about his vision for the student athletes. And uh, that vision lined up to exactly uh, what I believe uh, in the student athlete. And uh, the things that he wanted to do on this campus and just brought an excitement uh, to be a part of the team and, and where this university is going. And, and then my guy Jeff, you know, he's a guy with a lot of words, a lot of jokes. He said he wasn't going to talk that much. And, I was about to fall asleep over the <laughs> uh, I am. I'm thankful. Uh, to, to, to get a call from Jeff is, you know, we've been knowing each other for several years now. And, and uh, to express interest in coming out here, my first thought was, man, California. You know, you got to do a lot of selling. So he's a great salesperson, but he's a great friend. And uh, what he wants for this athletic department is something that uh, I want to be a part of. Uh, if you look over my career history, I've uh, gone into programs to build. And uh, that's what we want to build here. We want to build a, a championship team. We want to go to the NCAA tournament. Uh, we want student athletes to graduate, but not only after they graduate, we want them to go into the communities and be great citizens. Yes. And uh, we're going to bring a sense of love and compassion and uh, caring for them with, with great leadership uh, that they'll feel proud to be a part of our basketball team proud of the uh, university and proud of our athletic department. Uh, and the things that, uh, that I would like to say probably is it, it's a great day for me uh, to be a role uh, you know, Oftentimes, uh, you, go into, you go into situations and as you go and get to know me, I'm not one to, to come in and say a lot of things that I don't believe or I, I don't think would happen. Uh, our number one goal uh, outside of with our student athletes for our program is to make it to the NCAA tournament. And I'm sure there's going to be questions uh, after this uh, saying, Coach, how are you going to accomplish that? And some of the obstacles or some of the uh, things that stand in front of you. But I see it as an opportunity. Uh, the reason that I uh, made the decision, me and my family, was I see great potential here. Uh, I see a potential of something is seemingly the Navy start and being built about a former staff. And I, I want to compliment those guys for doing a great job. Uh, and it, we want to build on that. Uh, I'm not really concerned about all of the uh, excuses or what people may feel. Uh, I, when someone else may look at stones, I look at them as pearls. And as I look at this situation, I know uh, we can build a great uh, basketball uh, program here. My philosophy is, first of all, we have to mentor and counsel and encourage the student first. Uh, to me, it's about the person. If we make the decisions for the best interest of the student athletes, we'll always be in line with what's right. Our second focus for them is to get an education. And I don't like just saying get a degree, that's great, but we want to continually uh, be a team of learning, be a team of wanting to educate ourselves because as I mentioned to Dr. Mitchell, every step in my life, I've been able to have a mentor, a person in my life, to be an impact, to help me to get to where I am today. And I even stand here today uh, with Jeff and Dr. Mitchell, 
uh, asking for guidance, needing guidance, needing encouragement, needing help to get to that next place. Cannot do this alone. I understand that. And that's why I'm so happy to be part of the team. And the last thing is basketball. And I think that's easy. As I get a chance to talk to the basketball team here real soon, uh, that's what we do automatically. We grow up wanting to be basketball players. We, we want to be successful. We want to get to the court. It's kind of the sanctuary for, for basketball players. Uh, the thing that we have for that is uh, I don't consider it as a right to everyone to play college basketball. I think it's a privilege. And I think to have that privilege, you need to go to the court every day and give your very best uh, there. And I think people will receive that and accept that. Hey, hey.